some of the tools that I use. Uh, first, it's it's easy to write things down if you have a good quick capture system. So paper works great. I love having in my back pocket. I don't actually have it, um, is, is a moleskin. When I go out and I, I feel like I don't want to be using my phone, if I'm talking with somebody, I'll, I'll have, a, have a little paper notebook there where I write, write little th notes down. For the most part, I actually use my phone, and there's, a, there's an application called uh, Quick Drafts that I use on my iPhone. That just, You just open it up and you write little notes on it, and this could be anything. It could be maybe a quote that I thought was cool. It could be um, a little reminder to follow up with something. It's, it's sort of a, just an easy way to get, get something into my system. The, the other place where I write things down is Evernote. I'm a journaler, so I, just, I, I prompt myself with certain questions, but I also just journal what I've done throughout the day. And oftentimes, running through the day, especially at the end or the next morning, reminds me, oh, yeah, i got to follow up with that, or I need to set that calendar appointment, or th that would be a cool project. Let me put it on the someday maybe list. So Evernote's the second place that I have my capture system, and OmniFocus is the to-do list manager that I use. And the nice thing about OmniFocus is that you can have your someday maybe list somewhat hidden so you don't have to see it every single day and, um, and, and set it to pop up every however often you want. It could be every week, every three weeks, every month, every quarter. You could set you could, my Spanish one probably, I would imagine it's set to every 90 days. It'll pop up and be like, all right, Spanish, something you got to do right now? And I say no or, or decide a next action or uh, yes, and, and I put it in my, my projects list. Um, so that's the benefit of, of OmniFocus, but there are a ton of task managers out there, Asana, Todoist. I used Trello for, for a very long time. So there's, there's a lot of different ways. And then the Google Docs. My dad had separate Google Docs for each one um, at first, and then I think he just ended up using a, a one long Google Doc. He wasn't a big fan of the someday maybe, so he didn't have to worry about being distracted by that like I did. Um, so he just said like, okay, these are, these are some next actions that I have to do this today. Here's, here's something that I, I need to get done by the end of the week. Here's some things that need to get done by the end of the month and, and write them down there. And